Hey everyone, Ace Gamer Studios here, and guys, today we got our updated LEGO Star Wars 2019 collection. Now, before we get started, make sure to give this video a mega thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell if you are new to the channel. And leave a comment down below if you have any of these sets. So, um, yeah, let's let's get right in it. Alrighty, guys, I literally don't know what happened there. Um, let's try this for the sixth time now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the left side and then we're gonna go to the right so we start off with this beauty right over here the x-wing starfighter this set came from the 2018 summer wave for lego star wars set if you do not have this vehicle guys i really encourage you guys to get it this is a very beautiful set next up we have the it, my Imper custom imperial mm, tie fighter um even though it has the body of the um tie advanced prototype i think it really looks good so it is technically custom here we have the resistance patrol speeder um this came from the force awakens wave back in 2015 i believe and honestly, a really, it's a really cool vehicle. I wish we saw it in Force Awakens. Right over here, we have the Bounty Hunter Spear Bike. Honestly, probably one of the worst battle packs. It came from the um, Rogue One slash Freemaker um, wave. Um, yeah, I mainly use it for a Rebel Speeder Bike. So, very interesting, but I did not like the battle pack. Here we have the First Order um, Speeder. This came from the 2019 Winter Wave of sets. Honestly, not a bad battle pack, I would say. The vehicle looks pretty cool, and I would probably end up getting another one and use the rest of the minifigures for um, just extra custom characters, I guess. I don't know. Next up, we have the in Darth Vader's X-1 TIE Fighter, this is a additional build to the Darth Vader's castle, which came out in 2018. Yes, I know, it has the 2019 box art, but it is a 2018 set, okay? Get that through your thick skulls, guys. Next up, we have the... Um, Imperial Troop Transports. Honestly, this battle pack was a really, really good battle pack. It reminds me of all the other battle packs to where it was really easy to make like Imperial Rebel clone armies, and now it's kind of odd now, one days with these type of battle packs and that battle pack over there. So, honestly, it's a really good battle pack. I did not regret getting these at all. Here we have an alternate build. This was from the First Order um, Battle Pack um, that came out in the Winter Wave of 2016. Honestly, a really good battle pack, but I'm not going to be able to like rebuild the speeder because I can't find the parts. Now, here is, right over here, we have the Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack um, training thing, I guess. I literally don't know what it was called. But honestly, it was a really interesting battle pack. It was a weird move of LEGO to do something like this, but I really did like this battle pack. I might end up getting another one and then just making the arena, like, bigger, I guess. Honestly, it was a really good battle pack. In my opinion. Here we have the Mos Eisley Cantina from the 2014 wave. Um, honestly, I don't really know. And sorry guys, my arm is kind of shaky because I'm holding the tripod and I'm not used to like holding it for this long. So, um, this was a pain to build because this, like, um, my friend had given me this set, and honestly, it wasn't really complete. But I'm, I'm really glad I have it. Maybe we ha we'll have a Tatooine box soon. I don't know. The future is bright for the channel. 
Um, here we have the T-16 Skyhopper. Honestly, probably one of my favorite ships, in my opinion. I don't know why. It just looks so clean of a build. And it's really unique. It's something different that the Rebels would use. So, honestly, really cool ship, honestly. Here we have the 2018's Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Honestly, this was a very amazing set. It came out... The price was like twenty dollars um, when it came out, but now at my local Walmart, it's like sixteen dollars. So there's a possibility I might get another one, but and just use it for parts. But we'll see. Um, really great um, set. So I really encourage you guys to get it. Here we have the Freemakers um, Star Scavenger. Honestly, it's a really bad set. Honestly, it's just so small and not even accurate like it's smaller than the wide wing which is really sad um and it's smaller than the millennium falcon which i believe in canon uh this is supposed to be the exact same size as the millennium falcon it is not in lego form so honestly i i just the reason why i still have a built is just because i need some more ships for the rebel alliance i guess i don't know um i don't know if I what I would do with it if I were to like tear it up and use it for parts. Now behind it we have this gorgeous built uh, like this gorgeous structure, and it is Darth Vader's castle from Rogue One. Nah. and oh my gosh, was this set a pain? Three live streams in a row. This thing was stubborn. I'm really glad that I did get this set for as a Christmas gift. Honestly, after all the times I've struggled with it, honestly, it was worth the struggle. Um, it's a it's be like a playset and a display set. Honestly, you can't go wrong with something like this. It's a phenomenal beauty. Here we have the two thousand and sixteen or fifteen. I literally honestly do not know, but this is the homing spider join. Um, it is slightly not complete because of the tubes. Honestly, I might just repair it. And, um, but we'll see. And there's the addition from it. This is the Dwarf Spider Droid. And it is a very cute build, honestly. But the stud shooter is disgusting. Here we have General Grievous's wheel bike from the 2014 wave. Honestly, really glad that I have this a part of my collection. Now, if we go back over here, we have the one, our, the only construction figure in our collection, and it is Jango Fett. Honestly, I do want to keep it because, like, a lot of people don't like it, but I'm thinking about just selling it maybe for five, ten dollars. I don't know. Honestly, it's really cool, but in my opinion, but a lot of people just hate construction figures. Here we have the Battle of Takadana set. Honestly, really good set. And it's, even though I didn't get all the minifigures that I needed, I was missing like three. But it doesn't matter. I got the set. I really wanted it. And I got it. So, it doesn't matter. Over here we have the um, Imperial, our custom mini Imperial Star Destroyer. Do love it um, as well. Here's our First Order TIE Fighter. Really do love it as well. We have the 10th anniversary Hoth turns from the Hoth Echo Base set. Honestly, I really, was really surprised to get them as a birthday gift. Here we have the set that truly he started in my collection, and this was the this is the Y wing from the Rogue One wave. Um, and as you can see, we have no resistance pod. It is broken. I'm not rebuilding it. It is a very ter terrible set from a very terrible movie. So, um, I'm glad that I have this in my collection. All I need is just an A-Wing and a B-Wing. And I would will have completed the entire Starfighter er, line for the Rebels. So, I'm really happy I have this. Here we have our custom 501st ATRT. A very phenomenal build. Honestly, really glad that I did it third times to charge. So, it's a very good build. 
And last but not least, we have the First Order Specialist um, Battle Pack right over here. Even though it's slightly not complete, eat, um, because I've lost the m minifigures. But hopefully I can find this battle pack on like eBay, like a haul, haul of like two of them for a really good price. Because I did love the turret, honestly. It was, it was a very good turret. So, anyway guys, this is my collection. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, this was an extremely long video, and to make, uh, this is this is my seventh try doing it, and honestly, it turned out really good. Let me know, guys, if you have any of these sets in the comment section below. And that is all I have for you guys today. Ace Gamer, out.